Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the properties of whole number multiplication and division, starting with the closure property of multiplication of whole numbers. Mathematically, this property states that if a and b are whole numbers, then a times b is a unique whole number. In words, we can say this as if we multiply two whole numbers, we get a new whole number. So the multiplication of whole numbers is closed over the operation of multiplication. Our next property is the commutative property of multiplication for whole numbers. Mathematically, this says that if a and b are whole numbers, then a times b should be equal to b times a. In words, we could say, we can multiply whole numbers in any order and still get the same answer. The associative property of multiplication of whole numbers stated mathematically is, if a, b, and c are whole numbers, then a times b grouped first, then times c, is equal to a times b times c grouped first. In words, we might say, we can regroup our multiplication and still get the same answer. Finally, our identity property of multiplication of whole numbers says, there is a unique whole number one called the multiplicative identity such that for every whole number a, a times one is equal to one times a, which is equal to a. In words, we might say, any whole number times one is itself, and one is the only number like this. For multiplication, we have some new properties that we wanna be aware of. So first, let's look at the multiplication property of zero for whole numbers. Mathematically, we can say, for every whole number a, a times zero equals zero. In words, we can say any whole number times zero is zero. Well, why is that the case? Well, think about how we describe multiplication. It tells us how many groups of some number we have. If we have zero groups of a number, then we have no groups and therefore no items. Now that we are adding the concept of multiplication and later division to our already established operations of addition and subtraction, we want to know how those operations interact with each other. So that brings us to the distributive property of multiplication over addition for whole numbers. Mathematically, that property says for all whole numbers a, b, and c, a times the quantity b plus c is the same as the quantity a times b plus a times c. In words, we can say that if we have a groups of b and c together, we can think of that as a groups of b and a groups of c. So let's take a look at that. If we have two times three plus four, we can think of that as two groups of three plus four. So here's one group of three plus four. If we add another of that, then we have our total. Notice we have the same as if we were to do two times three plus two times four. So here is our two times three. If we add to that two times four, we can show learners here that we have the same total amount. So these are the same. The distributive property for multiplication over subtraction says, for all whole numbers a, b, and c, a times the quantity b minus c is the same as a, b minus a, c. This is really the same thing as the distributive property over addition, but we go ahead and state it as well. Now, that covers our properties for multiplication. What about for division? 
If we remember from our video on properties of whole number addition and subtraction, addition had a whole lot of properties that subtraction did not. So let's go through the properties of multiplication and see if division holds. Let's think first about closure. Well, if we take just a very simple example, 10 divided by 7, there is no whole number answer for this division problem, so division is not closed on the whole numbers. What about the commutative property? Well, let's think about 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. But if we swap those numbers around, 2 divided by 8 is not even defined for whole numbers, so it certainly is not equal to 4. So division is not commutative for the whole numbers. What about associative? This one covers regrouping. If we think about 8 divided by 4 divided by 2, if we first group 8 divided by 4 and then divide by 2, that results in the number 1. If instead we group 4 and 2 first, then we get 8 divided by 2 is 4. Those are not equivalent, so division is not associative on the whole numbers. And finally, the identity. Notice that for division, while it is true that any whole number divided by 1 is that whole number, it is not true that if we swap them around, 1 divided by n is always equal to n. In fact, that is only true for the whole number 1. So therefore, division does not have the identity property. All right, guys, that does it for this video on properties of whole number multiplication and division. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.